Where the trillionaires, man? What it do with y'all? Welcome back to another video out in it, bit. And I'm saying. Now, I want to talk to y'all about something today, man. You feel me? I want to talk to y'all about something today. And um, the title of this video is going to be called What is the Real Comfortability? Now, let me explain. You see, first off, let me start by saying this, man. There is two different types of people in this world, you know, and um, basically I'm going to put it as percentages because I was going to say winners and losers. But let me just say, you know, you have the 99 percent, which are classified as the losers, and you have the 1 percent, which are classified as the winners. Now, I made a similar video about this like two weeks ago or some shit like that now, but you know in this video though right in this video let me talk about the 99 percent you see the 99 percent are living in a they are living in a in an illusion of comfortability and what i mean is what i mean is i'm a, because i look man there's a 99 there's a 99 percent chance that you watching this video you are the 99 percent so i'm talking to you <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But real talk though, man. So here you are, right? You see, what well, with, with the 99% mindset, their mindset, their mind state or their emotions is it's on averageness, mediocrity. You know what I'm saying? That's basically where the fuck it is that you're at on some shit. So let me talk about you because I know how it feels. Like, don't think I'm just don't think I'm just bashing y'all on some shit. I technically I kind of am, but I'm I'm doing this simply because I know how it feels. I was the 99%. But Anyways, man, so here you go, right? You know, you probably got addictions, you know, what look man, you probably you probably don't even think this is an addiction or some shit like that. But this is the number one thing that men are doing behind closed doors, and I guarantee females are doing this as well. You're playing with yourself. I'm telling you what it is, man. You're playing with yourself every single day. Every single chance you get, man, every time you feel it. You just playing with yourself, man. You, you know, you just stuck in digital lust out in this bitch, man. It's hard to escape that shit. But, you know, you're doing that every single day. And basically, that's going to give you an energy signature. And the energy signature it's going to get is you're going to be in an immature state of mind. Or should I say, you're, you're going to be in an average state of mind. You feel me? Um, you know, that's that's one thing it is that you're doing. On top of that, here you go. You're probably scrolling on TikTok or you, on any social media, right? You're just scrolling on any social media endlessly. Like, you know, the whole, like, here you go. You're on there countless hours a day. You know what I'm saying? Just scrolling on social media. And damn, she'll TikTok out in this bitch. <laughs> but, you know, when you're doing that, right? You know, you just have that, you just have that en energy signature of, like, averageness stagnancy because that's that's what average people do <laughs> i'm telling you what it is you know on top of that with some other things that you might be doing man you know uh you might be an individual that might be a little bit older so here you are you probably watching the news <laughs> you know what i'm saying i don't i don't understand you motherfuckers watching the news or some shit i don't get it you're like y'all motherfuckers like to feel like a damn loser and that's that's a damn shame personally on some shit but you know here you are you just watching the news just watching it day in and day out you know and um what's some other things that you're doing man what's what's some other thing basically the point i'm trying to get across is you're going to be in the average state of mind you're going to you're going to you're going to have the feeling like your emotions your vibe right like the vibration that you're going to have it's going to it's going to be a average vibe you're going to have an average vibe to your ass and some shit like that like that's what you're going to be vibrating out of and then on top of that your mind right also the your mind is going to be average or should i say the type of thoughts you're going to have is motherfucking you're just going to be an average ass being out in this bitch but point i'm trying to get across in this video though when you're in that type of being right when you're in that average being what's going to happen is you're, you're going to think that that's the comfortability you're, you're going to think that's the real comfortability you know what i'm saying like let me go even deeper right quick you know you might be in a relationship or something like that right you know, let's say you got a wife or something like that, right? And um, basically, you know, you just got that one female, and you know, since since you since you have a woman in your life, you're set. <laughs> I'm telling you what it is. So you know, um, basically, you're just fine with having that one female. It's nothing wrong with just having one female, or some shit like that. I'm just gonna tell you what it is. You're getting looked down upon, buddy. I'm just telling you what it is, real talk, man. Because nine times out of ten, you ain't truly satisfied with. 
Man, you know, good and well, you ain't truly satisfied with your wife or some shit like that. I'm just, I'm just telling you the game because if you was satisfied with your wife or some shit like that, then I'm telling you what it is. If you was, if you was satisfied, then best believe you would not be, you would not be beating off when she's not around, my G. I'm telling you what it is. I'm telling you, and I'm telling you, man, that beating off shit be motherfucking messing up y'all marriages and shit. You ain't gonna look at, you ain't gonna look at your hoe the same. I'm telling you what it is. But um, hold up. Are we good? You know, gotta make sure we scrape. You know, what the fuck? But anyways, man, so um back to what the fuck I was talking about though, man. Um But yeah, man, um so you know you here you go you're going to be in an average state of mind you know when it comes to like relationships you're going to be in an average state of mind when it comes to your finances like you know you're, you're just um you're just getting by you know when you look at when you look at your finances right you see that you have the money is that you need to pay for your rent or whatever the fuck you saying okay we're so you know we're set <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And then, like I said, you know, you're going, you're going to watch TV. You're going to be on social media. Then you're probably going to be beating off and shit like that. You're just going to be a, you're going to have an average lifestyle and some shit. And when you're having an average lifestyle, point I'm trying to get across is you're going to look at that average lifestyle it is that you got. You're going to look at that like that's comfortability. When in reality, that's not the real comfortability, my G. That is not the real comfortability at all. What is the real comfortability though is, let me talk about me right quick, my G. Let me talk about me right quick. At this current moment, man, at this current moment, I am on 21 days of no fat. And, you know, since I am on 21 days of no fat, motherfucker, I am the best version I've ever been out in this bitch. I'm telling you what it is. On top of that, man, um, I've been working out for at least 19 days straight. You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, you know, I've been, you know, I got multiple YouTube channels. I got multiple businesses and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm scattered all around the damn place. But um, basically, you know, I just been I just been um, working on those on, on I've been working on all of those. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, on top of that, man. On top of that, you know, um, you know, I got me a dream job out in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, real talk, man, I be around a whole lot of women and shit like that, man. Mostly damn near every single day, you know. What's some other things, man? Uh, what's some other things I've been that been going on, man? Point I'm trying to get across is I am literally on my A game. I am literally on my shit. And, you know, as you can clearly see, I'm driving right now. The car it is that I'm in. Motherfucker, this car is crispy the fuck clean. This car is a damn sports car out in this bitch. Motherfucker, I got the inside cleaned out. And also on top of that, I got the outside cleaned out. Motherfucker, this shit look like a damn... This shit... Motherfucker, this shit rivals the... Um, what, what this shit rivals with? Motherfucker, this shit, this shit, bro. This motherfucker, this shit is up there with the, um, with the, uh, the, uh, the sports cars and shit. <laughs> but point I'm trying to get across, though, man. Point I'm trying to get across is, point I'm trying to get across is, this is, you know, and motherfucker, this, this ain't, this, this is, this is honestly not even, motherfucker, this ain't even, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, man? Motherfucker, it's, it's people doing way better than me on some shit like that. Look, man, look, look, look at, look at all the multi-millionaires and shit like that, right? Look at, look at all the multi-millionaires or the billionaires, you know, they got yachts, they got mansions, they got supercars, you know what I'm saying? They got, they got a whole lot of beautiful women, you know what I'm saying? What's some other things they got, man? You know, basically what I'm saying is these motherfuckers could buy the world. <laughs> I'm telling you what it is. But that right there, that is the real comfortability. The real comfortability is when you are able to do what it is that you want, when you are able to do what, what it is that you want, when you want to do it on some shit. That's the real comfortability, my G. The real comfortability is when you are living a life of abundance. The real comfortability is when you are living a life of richness. The, uh, the real comfortability is when you are when you are living a living a life of luxury. That's the real comfortability, my G. Imagine yourself waking up every single day and you know you just go to your garage and shit and you see a damn Rolls Royce. I'm telling you what it is. Or imagine you waking up every single day, right? If you're a man and you just waking up with like because I like I said before, most men out here in this day and age, they're beating off every single day. So how about so and just imagine yourself, you just waking up just like that um just like that um little Dickie and Chris Brown song back in the day. I woke up Chris Breeze and you know you know that video and you know that video um, um basically Chris Brown had like five girls beside him and shit and, and shit like that when he first woke up imagine if that shit was you my G imagine if you woke up and you seen your bank account was at a million dollars my G or more than a million dollars that's the real comfortability and that's all that I'm trying to get across in this video also, let me go even deeper right quick. Like I was saying early in this video, you know, when you're average, right, you're gonna have an average and you're gonna have an average vibe to your ass. And then on top of that, you're gonna have an average mind. What's gonna happen is, you know, 
when you're living like the one percent when you're living like the one percent what's going to happen is you're going to basically you're going to have the same type of vibration it is that i'm in a winner <laughs> i'm telling you what it is and on top of that you're going to have the same type of thoughts it is that i got as well some shit a damn winner and when you're having a winner as when you have a winner mind a winner thoughts winner emotions winner winner feelings whatever the fuck you want to call it when you're just a damn winner what's going to happen is that's the real comfortability my g that's that's the real feeling of comfortability because like i said right now i know for i know for 99.9 percent .9 as fat because look at look man the the total population of the world is operating under the 99%. They're average out in this bitch. Point I'm trying to get across is there's a 99% chance that you are vibrating as an average being. And one of the thing is you probably have no idea that you're doing this shit. You're just every single day life, you're just getting by. You're just wasting time. You have no idea you're wasting time out in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? But point I'm trying to get across though, point, point I'm trying to get across is, you know, when you're in that average state of mind, right? Like I said, you're gonna think to yourself, that's comfortability. Yeah, okay, so, okay, let me let me say that right quick. Okay, so, okay, that kind of is comfortability on some shit. Here you go, you just waking up every single day, you just beating off, you know what I'm saying? You, you going to a job that you know that's gonna give you the type of money it is that you need to pay your rent, then you probably you probably got a relationship or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what's some other shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, you, you, you just doing some average ass shit. You know, that might be some comfortability on some shit, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, with that, comf with that average type of comfortability, you will not be happy, my G. Let me say this one more time. With the average comfortability it is that you are in right now, because I know for a fact you in that shit right now, but with the average comfortability it is that you got, you are not happy with your life, my G. You're not. You are honestly not happy with your life. And on top of that, you're going to have a negative vibe to your ass. So you know, I'm telling you what it is. Motherfucker, I see right through you, motherfuckers. Stop. I'm telling you what it is. And I'm saying all of this because I, I look, look, man. I'm speaking from experience out in this bitch. I know how it feels to be jacking off every single day. I know how it feels to motherfucking just get by financially. I know how it feels to motherfucking be in, you know what I'm saying, um, be in a relationship or, you know, have females, you know, that you know for a fact, you know, you know for, you know for a damn fact, you, you don't want those type of females or some shit like that. Or you, you know, you know, you ain't the type to be in a motherfucking relationship because I'm a motherfucking, I got a harem. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But I, I'm, I'm just telling you what it is, man. I ain't the type to just have one female and shit like that, man. But real talk though, man. You you know, you know damn well, you you know, you know, you know good and well that type of life it is that you got, that average type of life it is that you got. You know damn well you could do better than that shit. But you know what I'm saying? You're just stuck in that damn, you stuck in you stuck in the matrix. <laughs> you stuck in that right race on some shit. I'm telling you what it is. Real talk, man. You just stuck, buddy. You know what I'm saying? But when you're like that, right, you're going to think that's the real comfortability when in reality, that's not the real comfortability. And that's all that I'm trying to say in this video on some shit, man. That's all that I'm trying to say, because I'm telling you, I'm going to say it one more time. Look at look at all the multimillionaires, my G. Look at all the millionaires. Look at the multimillionaires. Look at the billionaires, the multi-billionaires. That's the real comfortability, my G. They get to do what, what it is that they want to do when they want to do it. You know what I'm saying? You know, if they want to drive their McLaren, they can drive their McLaren. They want to drive the Ferrari, they can drive their um, drive their Ferrari. They want to go on a yacht, motherfucker, they could they could go on a yacht. You know what I'm saying? They want to fly their private jet and shit like that, they can do that. You know what I'm saying? They want to have they if they want to have a whole lot of dating partners they can do it on some shit or have the ones they want they could do it or you know on top of that man you know what i'm saying on top of that you know they could find you know real talk man also if, if um if, if the motherfuckers got their head on right you know what i'm saying you know like i said i got my motherfucking head on right so i think happy thoughts <laughs> i vibrate out of happiness out in this bitch part i'm trying to get across my g when you're living life like a winner man you're gonna when you're living life like a winner, that's the real comfortability. I'm telling you what it is. And I know for a fact, I know for a fact one of you, one of one of you damn peons I'm gonna look at this video and you're gonna comment some stupid ass shit under this damn because I already know I'm gonna put this shit on TikTok. So I know one of you motherfuckers is gonna gonna hate on my ass. You wanna know why you're gonna hate on me? Let me talk good thing I brought that up. You wanna know why you're gonna hate on my ass, my G? Because I always say this, man. Look, I'm just an individual that's ju that's just spreading positive information and shit like that, right? But you want to know why your satanic, de demonic ass gonna hate on me on some shit? You want to know why? Simply because you know for a fact that what the fuck it is that I'm saying is right. And on also on top of that, you know for a fact, you know for a fact that I'm the real deal. And on top of that, you know for a fact, every single time you look at me on some shit like that, right? You know for a fact that you ain't living up to what it is that you're supposed to be really, um, really living up to. 
Like I told you, you probably you probably a person beating off every single day on some shit. Then you gotta look at me. You and you and you know for you know damn well for a motherfucking fact. You know for a fact, motherfucker. I pull all the hoes it is that she wish that she could pull. And on top of that, and on, on, on top of that, right? You know I'm on no fap out in this bitch. So you gotta look at me and say like, damn, this this motherfucker doing better than me. Same goes when they when they be like in finance, some shit like that. It might be an individual right now. You might you might be you might be going through it financially on some shit, right? You might be broke as a joke out in this bitch. Then when you got to see me on some shit like that, right? Here you go. You're going you're gonna to be hating on my ass simply because, because you peeping out my vibe and shit like that. You're going to be saying, oh, you already, I already know this motherfucker rich, but man, why this motherfucker got to be rich for it? <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man. Fuck y'all. <laughs> I'm telling you the game. But, um, but that's all this I really want to say, though, man. All of this I'm trying to say, though, man. All of this that I'm trying to say is, uh, when you're living life like a winner, my G, that's the real comfortability. When you're when you're at the top of your game, that's the real comfortability. When you have when you have a winner vibe to you or like a cool vibe, aka a winner vibe, you know what I'm saying? Like winner, rich, whatever the fuck you want. Basically, when you have a positive vibe to you as, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have positive thoughts. And when you're when you're when you're in that state of being, that's the real comfortability, my G. When you're rich, that's the real comfortability. I'm telling you what it is. I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, 99% of you motherfuckers, man, 99% of y'all are wrapped under an illusion. And the illusion is that y'all wrapped on, wrapped in, y'all, y'all wrapped in and y'all wrapped in a motherfucking false ass illusion of comfortability. <laughs> y'all motherfuckers just getting by and just surviving until the day that y'all perish in some shit. Me personally, I'll be damned. I'm telling you. <laughs> Man, I man, I be I be damn if God gonna have me going out like down some shit. God, you wanna know how God gonna have me go out? God gonna have me go out. Look, man, I'm, I'm Hugh Hefner out in this bitch. I'm going out with motherfucking fifty hoes. I'm telling you what it is, motherfucker. I'm gonna be in a mansion or some shit like that. It's gonna be sage to fuck up with fifty butt naked hoes. They gonna be sucking my dick to the last drop. <laughs> That's how I'm, I'm going out like Hugh Hefner. I'm going out like Tony Tony Montana out in this bitch. Y'all motherfuckers going out lame as hell. Y'all motherfuckers going out like some damn bumps and some damn losers. <laughs> man, y'all motherfuckers lame. Anyways, man, so if y'all like this video on some shit, man, stay tuned for some more videos, and we out. See you, up.